Court uh, restaurant in Waldorf Astoria. It's part of uh, three restaurants uh, that we have here. So how did you think of bringing the British afternoon? It's something that doesn't exist in Israel as far as I know. And we decided we're going to do two types. We're going to do the classic one and we're going to do the royal, which is also with uh, sparkling wine. What kind of guests do you see coming? Uh, actually, our guests, it's, it's, we have all kinds. We have the British that heard about it and want to try it in the Israeli uh, place. Uh, we have Israel that's really exciting and never heard about it and want to try it. Right, because in and Israel you can't find anywhere that serves a British cup of tea in the afternoon. Correct. So all, all of our guests are curious about it. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere is very classic. Uh, also this tradition is very mm -hmm. classic, so it communicates together. You can see also the furniture. We want uh, people to feel uh, calm. We want them to feel that this is the time to indulge themselves right. and to enjoy uh, for their free time. Right, in the so, afternoon. Yeah. Very excited to try this afternoon tea. How does it work? And we have 12 uh, flavors in total. Wow, how can one choose? Yeah, so <laughs> this, this was uh, my thought that people really want to experience uh -huh. and try it. So for example, you can smell the chai masala. Wow. Uh, we have the kiroyal, for example, which is the fruit selection that mm. I really like. Ah, oh, this is heaven. So th those are the flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you like? What do you recommend? I'm a person of the chai masala, I think. Yeah. Uh, I really like the spices, the cinnamon, right. the let's, anise. Let's go on chai masala. On chai masala. Yeah. And uh, let's do the kiroyal as well. Perfect. Yeah, it's a very nice wine. Cheers. So let's uh, have our cup of tea. Yeah. So let's try this. Let, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it is. Um, and now for the stand. For the surprise? For the surprise. Wow. Um, so you can see in here, uh, usually people start with the salty one. Mm -hmm. You have the classic cucumber and cream sandwiches. Uh, you have an open uh, salmon uh, and two tartlets. One is uh, egg. Um, egg salad and the other one is cream with uh, salmon. Of course over here you have the classic scones, two with raisins and two regular. Okay. We highly recommend with to cut raisins. it to yeah to cut it to two and to put uh, uh, jam and uh, whipped cream. Oh. Um, and then the fun part starts with all the sweets. Mm -hmm. You have fruit outlet, we have two kinds of eclair, chocolate and vanille. Uh, you have chocolate cake mm -hmm. and two chefs pillow of strawberry and lemon. I am in heaven right now. I hope you're hungry. Um, so is this all made here? Yeah, so it's all the homemade. We mm -hmm. make it uh, according to the reservation that we have. Uh, the scones probably went out of the oven 15 minutes ago. Uh, and of course, all of it are kosher and we have the highest uh, kashrut. We have the mahadran kashrut. So this is usually for one person, table. How does this usually come out? This uh, stand is for two people, mm -hmm. and of course, two selections uh, of tea. And as you can see, there is a big variety of things over here. First of all, we will start with uh, salty, mm -hmm. the sandwiches. Uh, so, what do you recommend here? I think the open uh, salmon is very good, the open sandwich of the salmon. Uh -huh. So now, um, so now you take a scone. Uh huh. With your butter knife, you cut it to two. Mm -hmm. We 
we really recommend to put uh, whipped cream and then to put uh, a jam as well. So, now we give it a try? Yes, indeed. That was delicious. There's so much going on here. I can't wait to try all of this. And it was a pleasure being here. Thank you for coming. It was really fun. Very fun. <laughs>